Yo, how's it going, guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the Glorious Mono Wireless and just why I think it gets hated on way too much by the community. Do keep in mind that this video is basically entirely my opinion. You're entitled to your own opinion too, uh, but just don't spread hate based on what other people think. I'm going to get into some things about the mouse before I get into why I think it gets hated too much. So, so I think the mouse actually has a pretty nice weight. It weighs 69 grams. Funny number, am I right, guys? The weight is quite nice because it makes it feel like you're, you're not really moving a brick, but it still feels like you're holding something. Personally, for me, that's something I kind of like have to have. I can't play unless I feel like like I'm actually holding the mouse. So that's one of the things I don't like about my Razer Viper Mini is it just doesn't feel like you're really moving anything. And when it does, it's just sort of like you're holding a lump of plastic. It doesn't feel like it has any weight to it. So that's what I think about the weight. Um, it's obviously it's not the lightest mouse out there. Some people like really light mice. Some people like, like really heavy mice. Um, but also the mouse is a really nice like ambidextrous shape. It's quite flat on the ground. It's not like f like really flat. Being comparison to like the Jeepro Wireless and Jeepro Super Light, it's quite low down. I think personally, it just makes it really comfortable to hold. I kind of don't like it when a mouse um is not very close. This guy's really annoying me. For those that don't know, ambidextrous just means it's the same on every side. Um, the only difference really would be the side buttons are only side buttons on the left. Um, but that's not a huge thing because the vast majority of people use their mouse on the right hand. And if you don't, that's kind of a you problem. And the battery life on this mouse is actually really good as well. If for me, like, so I play with 70% RGB and it, can, it lasts me a good couple of days without having to charge, um, which I think is really nice. And even when you're charging it right, is it's not that inconvenient to use. It's like using a regular Model O, but it's like, it's like a higher quality version of it. So the buttons like double click really easily on this mouse, um, which I guess is what it's designed to do. I mean, that's why everyone uses it for butterfly clicking. So I can get like triple clicks basically all the time when I'm trying just to, like get as much CPS as I can. It's all, it's basically always only triple clicks and with the occasional quad click which means that when i'm trying to get cps um i can get like 24. Alright, so the main arguments i kind of hear when people talk about how bad the model of wireless is are, the, are that um it's an overrated mouse and that the because the original model was bad that this one must be bad too um now i can definitely agree that the model of wireless is um overrated i think people hype it up to be a lot better than it actually is but in my opinion that being overrated and just doesn't make it a bad mouse it's still perfectly viable um and it's definitely one of the best options st still out there obviously there are definitely better options and alternatives it just depends what you want to use it for and then the other one i think the one of oh the original model o was bad so that means this one must be bad too it's complete bullshit several reasons firstly the original model o wasn't actually all that bad i mean it had a lot of issues but it was still a usable mouse you can't base how good one mouse is off of how good the, another one is and i just think that like big, like you, you can't really expect that glorious isn't going to make improvements and fixes on on the sequel to the model o firstly they fixed most issues on the original model o like you, you used to be able to squeeze the mouse and the um buttons would flex and everything would flex and it was just not a great mouse in terms of build quality and that's mostly fixed like you could squeeze it there's no flexing i mean if if it flexes you're squeezing it really hard don't take that out of context they also stopped the clicks from like sticking which because this the, the, on the original model when you um click to the buttons quite often they would like sort of stick down and not be able to unclick for like half a second personally i didn't have that a huge amount it did like on my original model before i got it replaced um but i've heard a lot, a lot of people who've complained about that happening also they got rid of that like, the play on most of the buttons play is basically just when you like try and move it like the buttons side to side they would move side to side now they basically don't move side to side at all there's a tiny bit that you're always going to get a tiny bit of play with something that's not fit fully connected to the mouse i think generally this is a solid mouse especially after they fixed everything that was wrong with the original anyway that's all i've had to say for the video hopefully you enjoyed it and have a good rest of your day anyway goodbye